What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. It's true! My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Hey, you. Looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah. I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Got my sights on you. Hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the Groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. 
Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man. I thought you were dead. Or throwing yourself against the walls of some re-education center. That's been five years, Clyde. The best thing you can say is, hey there, Hullhead? No, Felix. The best thing I can say to you is yet to come. Also, I'd like to have a word with your captain. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. Felix is, uh, a vital member of our crew. He's... Uh, well, he's... good in a fight. You're that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. I understand that Felix is part of your crew, at least for now. If the thought of losing him troubles you, then understand that you're helping him solve a problem for an old friend. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him, and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own in tuck tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the Groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. Clyde offered me a hand when nobody else would. I'd say I owe him a good turn. There you have it, Captain. A favor for an old friend. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token.
What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. No matter the cost? <laughs> it's just drugs, Max. We ain't making you walk in front of a firing squad. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. What's wrong, Max? Can't think straight? Now you know how I feel... Uh, wait, forget I said that. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated... Uh, uh, perpetrated? I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out, always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place, never looking inside himself. You look inside yourself all the time, Max. Or with your head buried up your posterior. Platitudes from a figment, <laughs> figment of my imagination, no less. Who said I wasn't a figment of your mind? But you know the truth. You don't need someone else to tell you. You've always known it. Everyone knows it. They just won't see it. We're overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days. The stories others tell us, and the stories we tell ourselves. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, 
But they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to draw up your story and see the truth. I got your story right here. I'm Vicar Max. I'm uptight. I love the church, and I'm a stooge for the board. And I don't understand that Felix is a genius. I just wanted to prove to my parents that I... that... I, damn it. You're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's long dead. To attain your goals, you must live in the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architects plan to sleep away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just... My own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who... Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts, and I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Yeah, Max, why do you do that? What are you talking about? I can do that. The jackass is in I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. I... woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm experiencing. Everything is perfect. No. Well, perhaps in a way I have. Look, I'm not saying it's perfect in the way you're thinking. But it is still perfect. It's all there to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality, clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. I am content. I finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. Captain, I was hoping for a word. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts?
I wouldn't say my parents disowned me, strictly speaking. But before they died, they accused me of thoughtlessly abandoning them. I was so certain my potential was wasted as a laborer, and was willing to risk everything just to prove to them that they were wrong. I was lost, misguided, 